Hey, welcome back guys, this is Crafty Fox, and I hope you guys are having a fantastic day today. And this time we are making the Deutsche Bahn Intercity Express ICE-4. It's a high-speed German train manufactured by Siemens. And you may have remembered a long time ago I made the ICE-3, uh, but that was severely outdated. But this is the ICE-4, totally different train, uh, and it's commissioned by Amtrak to EMD. And we're going to take a look at this whole train set. It's actually quite long, has seven different types of cars. So it's not like for the people who just want a quick build, you know, this is complex. All right, so first off, it starts off with an end car. Then we have this one car. Then we have this another car. And these two types of car, you can see, uh, you think they may look the same, but if you look at the bogies, one of them is like higher than the other. This one shows a bit more detail. And then we have, uh, this is the board restaurant car, which board just means on board. And then we have a power car, and it's similar to the A car. Then we have this B car, and then we have the backwards A car. It's just like rotate 180 degrees, another one of A cars. And then we have a B car, which is powered. And these are just like random names that I just gave it just for the sake of names, because I don't know the actual names of this. And then we have two more A cars facing the other direction, as well as an N car at the end and uh, usually I don't do this but I'm going to tell you the measurements for each car. The end cars are 43 blocks long, the intermediate cars are 42 blocks long and um, yeah uh, we can go overhead and build it and if you guys are interested in commissioning trains a lot of people have been recently asking me about it uh, you can just come on to my live stream I do it every Saturday around noon to afternoon Eastern Standard Time or you can just send me an email which I have on my YouTube page and if you guys cannot commission you know I still take a free request on the stream uh, I'm just it's just like not guaranteed to make it unless a lot of people uh, ask for it anyways before you get started remember to hit that like button and it really helps tremendously uh, but anyways let's get started so for this tutorial I actually don't have anything in my inventory um, and this is just so that you guys can get the materials as I get the materials. So first off, we're going to take out smooth quartz, smooth quartz slab, another brick slab, and then red concrete. Alright, so we're going to go on top of the tracks. In the middle, we want our nether brick slab hovering above the ground like this. And then we'll add in smooth quartz uh, right behind it and to the side. Then we'll add smooth quartz here. And then on the side, we'll add in a smooth quartz stairs. Now this is going to face towards the front, upside down. And then we'll have two more of these stairs facing outwards, like this. On top, we're going to add three blocks long of smooth quartz slab like that. And the middle, and we're going to add in red concrete. Make like a two blocks wide like that. And this part's going to be three blocks long. Then we're going to go dangling up, add another red concrete like so. All right, then we're going to go back to the front, add in smooth quartz slab, two blocks here. Then the middle will add smooth quartz stairs like this, and another one so it's cornered, and a smooth quartz stairs right there on the side. Then we'll add in um, smooth quartz, two blocks long like that, a smooth quartz slab here, and a smooth quartz block. Then we'll add in upside down smooth quartz stairs, and smooth quartz uh, slab right behind it. Then on top, we're going to add a smooth quartz uh, stairs right on top of the other stairs. Smooth quartz right behind it. And it's going to be two blocks long. And then we'll add a quartz block. And now the difference between smooth quartz and quartz is quartz has a line because there's sort of like a black line that's here in real life to detach it. So next, we'll take out smooth quartz slab, add one on top of the quartz. It's going to go towards the middle, it's three blocks long like that, and we'll make a 2x2 two two in the front, in the middle, like so. Add an iron trap door right in this corner, and then we're going to go down to the bottom, add in a quartz block right here behind the slab, and then we'll add in smooth quartz. Let's make it so it is uh, five blocks long, so one, two, three, four, five, and after the fifth one, we're going to add another two on top. Then we'll add in smooth quartz slab. Uh, two, or actually, yeah, two blocks long like that. And another block right here. 
Then we'll add in a quartz slab in between this nook. Then we'll add in red concrete in the inside of this hole. Cross like that. Then we'll move on to the front. We'll add in a acacia sign right here in the middle, like so. And then right behind it, we'll add in a smooth stone block right there. And then on top, there will be an andesite wall. Then the inside part, there will be another brick slab, black glass, and another brick stairs. So have a stairs right behind the wall, and then black glass, and then another brick slab in the front like so. Then we're going to add in uh, this black stained glass pane and we're going to add in two right here and then we'll add a light gray glass pane right here. In the inside part uh, we're going to add in an iron trap door. Then we'll add white carpet two blocks long like that and as you can see we're just building half of it at a time. Alright so next we'll add in black concrete so let me grab it and we're going to have it uh, on the inside of this window so just cover that up black concrete and we'll also add one right behind that slab like so alright then we'll add in black stained glass block block long here black concrete and then two black glass blocks and then black concrete then we'll add smooth quartz and this is going to be uh, two blocks tall like that and then we'll add in uh, black concrete again and we'll go diagonally inside add a black concrete smooth quartz here and then smooth quartz fill in this top area like that alright and then we'll add in smooth quartz two blocks tall here and then black concrete and then three black stained glass blocks black concrete and then we're going to make sure we're going to have one, two, three. Basically, it's like six windows. So you can imagine this is one window. It's three blocks wide. And then it's going to be a second window. And add a pillar. Third window. Pillar. Fourth window. Pillar. Fifth window. Pillar. And this is the last window. Sixth window. And then a pillar. All right. Very cool. And then we'll add in a two by two of smooth quartz, black concrete, make it go diagonally in like this. And we'll add in smooth quartz slab here. Then two smooth quartz blocks right there. All right, now on the top part, we'll add in um, smooth quartz stairs, two blocks long like that. And the inside part would have it face inside like that. And then one in the middle facing towards the back, like so. Then we'll add in a stone brick uh, stairs right there. All right, then we'll take out um, stone button. And we'll also take out dark oak button. So we'll add two stone buttons to the side, this smooth quartz. And dark oak button uh, to the side of this quartz block. And we'll add another one to the side of the bottom quartz block as well. Then um, we'll add in a quartz slab a row across the middle right behind this so cross like that and then we'll add in smooth quartz slab right behind it and we'll add another stone button actually we'll add in a birch button right to the side of this black concrete in the next pillar and then another pillar in the back like so alright next we're going to go to the front go right here and I'm going to add a wheel which is going to be cyan terracotta Add upside down, uh, nether brick stairs, and right side up, nether brick stairs, and then another upside down, and then uh, say and terracotta. Add in hoppers to the sides of the wheels, and stone brick slabs in between like that. So that is basically the wheel design. Then we'll add in uh, stone brick stairs right behind it. Then we're going to go to the back, and uh, we need to actually line it up with this top section to the bottom. So we'll add in uh, upside down uh, stone brick stairs right here, and it's going to be three blocks long. Then we're going to do the same thing that we did in the front, adding in sand terracotta, and then our nether brick stairs. Then sand terracotta, hoppers sides of the wheels, and stone brick slabs all the way across. 
Then the bottom portion will add in a stone brick stairs right here. All right, very good. So next we'll take out smooth quartz, add a row across the top section. Then we'll add in smooth quartz slab right underneath. It's gonna be an upper slab all the way across. Line up the same way. And then we'll add in red concrete on the inside part. Lines up all the way. Then on top we'll add in smooth quartz all the way across. Line it up like so. All right, looks good so far. So now what we're gonna do, uh, we're basically going to extend the smooth quartz uh, and then this line over here as well as the bottom all the way across to the other end. All right, so after we've done that, we're to go to the third window pillar. So one, two, and three right here. Delete these two blocks and we'll add in um, quartz, smooth quartz stairs, face each other upside down. And this is gonna be the Deutsche Bahn logo. Then we'll add in two stone buns underneath like that. Then we're gonna go on the inside and you'll see all the windows, they're gonna be covered up with this uh, gray concrete. So you're gonna do that gray concrete to the side of all the windows. And once you add that gray concrete all the way across, it should look like this. And the reason why we're making a gray concrete is to add more contrast and credit to Swippy <clears throat> for suggesting that. All right, so now what we're gonna do, we're to go to the fourth window pillar and we're gonna add smooth quartz slab all the way across the middle. So one, two, three, and fourth pillar, smooth quartz slab here, and extend it so it's like three blocks long, like so. Then there's sort of like this um, transition until the bump. So we'll add in another smooth quartz slab here, and then smooth quartz stairs like that. Then the middle area we're gonna add two by two smooth quartz, like this. Then we're going to go uh, right to this portion here and it should line up with the window. We'll add in uh, polished or not polished diorite, just regular diorite. I'm going to make a 2x2 two two in the middle here, like so. Alright, so now what we're going to do, we're going to extend this smooth quartz slab all the way across to the front area and this back portion with the stairs and the smooth quartz all the way to the back area, fill all this in. All right, so once we fill the rest of the roof in, should look like this. Take out stone button, add it right above this birch button. And we'll add another one above the birch button in the back. Speaking of the back, uh, let's add in the dark oak button right here at the back. And this middle area, we'll take out a gray concrete. Um, let's make a two blocks wide here. Let's make it two by two like this. And then we'll add in nether brick slab, two blocks like this. And then we'll take out dark oak fence gate, add one here, and another one right above it. But this one's gonna be opened up. Then we'll add a dark oak button to the side. Then we'll add in a gray concrete, two blocks long, and another one in the middle. And now we're gonna make the gangway. So that's gonna be a nether brick wall Put it right here and make this go all the way to this top gray concrete and then we'll add another brick slab at the very top like so. So I'm just gonna like leave that hole there and then we'll add another brick block right here. Very cool. All right, so next we're to line up with the second window pillar, go down here, add in these two nether brick uh, stairs right at the bottom so I believe, yeah, that is uh, pretty much it for uh, this end. Now we're going to flip it off and do the same thing on the other side. All right, so once we've done both sides, should look like this. And we'll also add in a stone button after this dark oak button, both sides. Then on this side, we'll add in another vent here. So skip a block, two nether brick stairs, skip a block, nether brick stairs like that. And uh, yeah, that's actually it for the end car. Now I'm gonna be showing you how to build the other cars. All right, so now we're gonna make the base car, which is gonna be the foundation for the other six types of cars, which are very similar. So to make the base car, what we're gonna do, um, let's take out gray concrete. And we're gonna make it uh, right over here, hovering above the tracks, make it two blocks wide like that. 
add in smooth quartz side of it uh, red concrete right on top and then smooth quartz slab to side of it then on top we'll add in two smooth quartz uh, blocks like that and then two smooth quartz stairs like this stone brick stairs and the other side actually we're just doing one side so this part here uh, smooth quartz stairs and another one so it's like cornered then we'll make a 2x2 two two of smooth quartz then for this uh, door section uh, we'll add in black concrete here another black concrete dangling in and then smooth quartz slab right there dark oak button to the side of the black concrete and then we'll extend this smooth quartz slab two blocks extend this bottom quartz two blocks red concrete two blocks and smooth quartz two blocks tall like that now the bottom is going to be uh, stone brick stairs like this three blocks cross like that all right, now this inner portion is going to be the same thing as the other car, so take out gray concrete, make an L shape right there, and fill in the middle part, the bottom like that. And we'll like leave the gangway like hollow, so you can walk between cars. So now we're going to make the wheel, so go down here, add say enter Arcata. Now the brick stairs, upside down, right side up, and then upside down again, say enter Arcata. And then we'll add stone buttons to the sides of the wheels. And in the middle, there will be a stone brick uh, slab. And then dark oak fence gate right there. Then we're to go on the inside here, where we start the gray concrete. It's going to be the floor, basically. I'm going to make it so it's going to be, uh, let's see, 42 blocks long. So after we stacked, so it's 42 blocks long. We're going to do the same thing that we did over here and do it on the other side. Once we do the same thing on the other side, it should look like this. Then we'll add in uh, smooth quartz. And we're going to make this go right over here. Extend this red concrete. Smooth quartz slab here. And then um, we're going to extend this portion. And we're going to make this go all the way across to the other side. Alright, so once we extend this line all the way across, we'll go down the bottom. Right after this bogey, we're going to add 14 of the stone brick stairs. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Once we reach 14, this is going to be the middle. So we'll add in a pair of stone buttons. And we'll add in a pair of upside down smooth cord stairs facing each other. That's going to be the DB logo. All right, next we'll work on the roof. So we'll take out smooth quartz, add one here, smooth quartz stairs, and then smooth quartz slab. I mean, smooth quartz blocks, two blocks like that. And then we're basically, um, oh yeah, and also add in great concrete right over here on the inside part. All right, so yeah, we're gonna extend all this area all the way across. Once we added that all the way across, we're gonna go line up the middle here go up here and we'll make a 2x2 two two of deer right for top vent and we'll go to the bottom and finish off this stone brick stairs upside down all the way across to the other wheel like so so next we'll take out black stained glass blocks and we're gonna line that up all the way across so it's like the sides where the windows are and I guess we'll add the pillars later then we'll go to the other end of the car and make the gangway here again. So that's going to be another brick slab. Two blocks long here, and then another brick block here. And then another brick wall. Four blocks tall. Another brick slab here. And then we'll add in a dark oak fence gate. Two blocks like that, and the top ones could be opened up. Dark oak bun here. And we're going to add this um, birch fence gate right here at the top. And we're also going to add one to the other side as well. Right there. Alright, so now we're going to flip it off and do the same thing on the other side. Alright, once you've done the other side, it should look like this. And this is going to be 
uh, our base and I also cloned it so we have another one so to make the one car which that's just the name I came up with since there's only one of this in the whole entire train set uh, to make that car let's go down over here and then we'll skip these three windows black concrete like that and then skip three add one another one and then we're to keep on doing this till we reach the other side this may take us a while but once we reach the other side we're to fill this part in with smooth quartz like that then we're going to add a birch button right at this first pillar and we're to do the same thing on the other side so once we added that to the other side we're to go over here go to the buttons and then we're to skip three and we'll add in another brick stairs the other side we're to skip four so one two three four add another brick stairs here then we're going to go right over here skip two stairs add in another brick stairs like that and then we're to go to the front where it connects to the end card delete this birch fence gate like that and yeah that is pretty much it on how to build the first car all right so now we're to make the a car so this a car is like the most common uh coach in this whole train set there's a lot of them uh, so if you need like a standard coach you can use the a car for that so to make that it's very similar uh, we'll go right over here skip three glass add black concrete and skip three add one and then keep on doing that to reach the end here and we'll add in a uh, smooth quartz right there so it's pretty much the same thing that we did for the first intermediate car all right so we're almost there there we go and then we'll go to this part here add a birch button to the side of that black concrete all right so next we're to go to the bottom here and we'll skip two stairs here to nether brick stairs skip one nether brick stairs like that and then we'll go line up with the logo two blocks wide nether brick stairs skip a block two more skip a block another one skip a block another one so that we have four of these in a set like that then we'll go off to this end over here and we'll delete uh, I guess a two by two and the middle area is going to have uh, two nether brick slabs then we'll add another brick wall here and another brick fence right there and for this A coach, this actually uses a different bogey design. So this is what it looks like. So we're going to take out all these materials, smooth quartz stairs, delete the space right above the bogey, and we'll replace it with the stairs. And then we'll add hoppers sides of the wheels. And I guess we can keep that dark oak fence gate. All right, and then for the other side, we'll add in... Uh, hopper sides of the wheels like this smooth quartz stairs right above the bogey cross like that and yeah we can just leave that fence gate like so alright so now we're gonna do we're gonna copy this whole thing and do the same thing on the other side alright so next is gonna be the board restaurant car so to do that we'll have to remove uh, the doors on the ends so replace that with smooth quartz like that both ends then we'll delete this uh, dark oak button and we'll add in two stone buttons like that other side same thing two stone buttons delete that dark oak button so now we're going to add the window pillars so go right over here skip three add one black concrete this could be a pillar and we'll need five of these pillars so one two three four and then five right there the other side is gonna have three pillars so skip three here one two three like that and there's gonna be two blocks along on this side and we'll make a doorway here so delete these three glass blocks and we'll add in uh, smooth quartz right there on the sides and then uh, what is this black concrete Yep, in the middle where the window for the doorway is going to be like that. Now we need to make um, 
this is gonna say like uh, board restaurant so that's gonna be five upside down smooth court stairs and it's gonna be right here so we already have one so two three four and five like that so let's add it and it should look like this and then we'll add in the DB logo right to uh, right before the second pillar so right over here delete these two and then upside down um, smooth court stairs like that then we're gonna add a birch button right to the last pillar and the first pillar all right so yeah that's basically for the side so we're gonna copy and do the same thing on the other side all right once we have both sides let's go down to this um, wording and then we we'll skip a block here and we'll add a diagonal to that uh, nether brick stairs right there go to the other side skip two stairs add in nether brick stairs like that now for the other side uh, we're gonna actually just go right diagonal to that stairs add another brick stairs right there and there's gonna be another pair so right over here skip four one two three four then add a pair of nether brick stairs like that all right so yeah that's how you make the board restaurant car all right so now we're gonna make that one with the pantograph it's called an a power car so there is actually two power cards. This is going to be based on the A car design, which should be uh, the third car that we made or the second intermediate car. It should look like this with the raised up part of the bogey. So I'm going to copy it and we'll modify it to make the power car. All right, to make the A power car, we're going to modify the A car that we made earlier. And we're going to make it rotate 180 degrees so that uh, the, this end right here has that part on top and the other end is going to have the pantograph. Alright, so for this uh, tutorial, the pantograph design is actually the same design that we're going to use for the B power card, which we'll use on later. It should be over there, you can barely see it. So I'm going to use the same design and we'll copy and paste it later. So go right over here to this stone brick stairs and then we'll delete this block here. Then we'll replace it with a smooth quartz slab here. Make it nine blocks long. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. All the way across like that. Then we're gonna go on the inside part, delete these two blocks long. All the way across like so. Then we'll add in a nether brick fence, nether brick wall. So we're gonna alternate. We're gonna start off with the fence, add a wall, then add a fence and then we're going to add a wall and then we're going to add a fence and then we're going to add a wall like that and I think yeah we're going to we're going to end off with a fence like that and then we'll take out another brick slab we'll make a two by three or actually a two by two since we're just building half of it right over here two by two and then we'll add in uh, another brick uh, block right here in the middle. Uh, another brick stairs like that. And we'll add a dark oak trap door right above here. And then uh, for the other side, we're just going to add in another brick stairs. So it's facing towards the other one. Another brick block here. And dark oak trap door on top of that. And the rest of the middle is just like nether brick slabs all the way across. And before we do that, actually, we'll add in nether brick slabs underneath all of these fences and walls so that there's not like a giant hole like that. Add in our nether brick slabs, three blocks long right there. All right, so now we're going to make the actual pantograph. Now there is one that's folded down and ones that's raised up and I notice when these trains are in operation usually there's only like one pantograph on like the whole entire train you can see the other side it's not on so to make the folded down version we'll make a dark oak fence gate opened up facing towards the trap door add another fence gate like that facing the other direction add another fence gate here and then two dark oak trap doors and fence gate here at the side open it up 
And that is pretty much it on the folded down version. Now we're gonna make the folded up version. Add in fence gate here, dark oak trap door, and then two fence gates on top and they are gonna be facing each other. Then we're gonna go up right over here, add another fence gate, it's gonna be opened up like that. And we'll add in fence gates to the sides like that. I guess it's like a block forward. And then we'll add in, actually I'm building, I need to build only half, so like that. And then we'll add in two dark oak trap doors and dark oak fence gate on the side. And that is about it. There are some levers here, but that requires a build edit to do that, which you probably don't have if you're watching this video. Um, but yeah, that's how you make the raised up pantograph, lower down pantograph. Then we're gonna add a stone button right above this window. Same thing on the other side. We'll also add a stone button right above this birch button on the other side as well. All right, so yeah, that's how you make uh, the power car, the A power car. All right, so now we're gonna make the B car, which looks like that. So uh, go back to our base model, go right here to the right hand side, add in smooth course block right there, and skip three at black concrete, and we're gonna add it at regular intervals, just like we did before, to reach the other side, just skipping three windows like that. All right, and then we'll add in a birch button right to the side of this black um, block right there. Then we're gonna go to the middle, down underneath, and then diagonal to the logo, we'll add in two nether brick stairs, and we're gonna do that on both sides like that. And on the side, we'll skip one, add another stairs right there. All right, so then we're gonna flip it off and do the same thing on the other side. All right, so after we flip it off on uh, both sides, uh, pretty much we're to go on to back to this side and add another vent here, two blocks long of another brick stairs like that. And um, yeah, that is pretty much it on how to build the B car. Now we're to convert the B car into a power car by adding the pantograph and uh, you can just go for <laughs> watching the pantograph go back in the video what I did for this car. All right, so once we added the pantograph, we'll add a stone button right above this window. Same thing on the other side. And yeah, we are finally done. We have all seven different types of cars. It's quite a long tutorial to do, but we managed to finish it off. Um, so yeah. I do hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial. Sorry, it's quite long, but it is quite complex in real life, and I wanted to make it as realistic as possible. Um, thanks to Amtrak to EMD for commissioning this build, making this video possible. My um, throat's getting a little tired, um, but yeah, if you guys do want to support the channel, uh, hit that like button down below, and you can comment whatever you want. Maybe some feedback. Comment feedback if you didn't like anything or like something I could approve on. Just let me know. I do read all your comments. Um, but anyways, if you haven't already, please subscribe because I will be uploading more videos like this in the future. And I'll see you guys in the next one. See ya.